guys welcome back to another episode of foothills fishing my name is jake if you have not seen my channel um today it's been a tough morning i actually tried to go fish um Folsom lake and rattlesnake bar is closed right now um so if anybody knows a website that lets you know when the ramps are open or closed let me know because anything i could find it was saying it was open um so i ended up flying back up the freeway coming by my house had to get my new graph card and i ended up coming back to rollins lake uh, i really wanted to do a video with a south fork because i fished that last week at Folsom out of brown's ravine and i wanted to do the north fork out of rattlesnake kind of do a little challenge see which one was uh producing a little bit better during winter um, i did get a, a dm from a guy that said to fish the nico rigs and use the uh, hula grubs um, so that helps any of you out give that a shot and let me know how it goes but yeah i'm up at uh ron's lake so today i'll be fishing channel swing ledges which if you don't know what that is that's like the main water source going through it's kind of like the river that goes through the lake and whenever it hits a swing in the lake you kind of fish that that wall bluff or that that ledge and you, what you want to do is kind of like drag a jig down the ledge where it goes from shallow to deep because that's where those winter bass are going to be hanging out um so get a jig, deep dive and crank, whatever we can get down there and, and kind of just work that ledge down. And I'll be fishing main points today. Um, water temp here is 51 and the weather I think is 40 degrees. So, and, and it's gonna be partly cloudy today. And also it was, oh no, it wasn't a full moon, but it's really close to a full moon. So hopefully the fish are biting. Um, yeah, I guess that's it guys. Let's uh, get to fishing. See what I can get today, catch you out there. First fish. That was awesome. I wasn't recording when he first bit, but first fish. Saw him on the graph. Ooh, that could be a bad sign. Oh no, it was second cast, not first cast. So first fish. Pretty pumped there. Of course, I wasn't looking at my graph on a brand new Gary Yamamoto Shimmer Shad. I'll show you guys that when I get my chesty on. But yeah, pretty little spot. Nice little belly. Alright, he just got the chesty working again. Got it on. This little Gary Yamamoto Shimmer Shad. In the shad color. Switched over to a bigger drop shot. His first cast with the drop shot makes me a little nervous. Yeah, it was a uh, video game fishing. Saw him right on my graph, just laying on the bottom. Dropped on him, just kind of dead weight it. Just let it sit there. Let me throw it, show you guys the other thing I'll be throwing. This is the Hula Grub Nico Rigged. I had to pull that little nail weight out a little though. So you can see that just because it was making the whole thing lay on the bottom and what you want it to do is actually sit on the bottom like that and those little flanges go like crazy those stick up and those sit on the bottom and just kind of kind of hop it hopefully i can get another off the spot that's quick been out here for like seriously five minutes of fishing not even <laughs> don't know if that's lucky or if that's gonna be some bad luck but they're biting Hopefully.
Video game fishing, baby. It's fun. Numero dos. All in the shimmer shad. Oh. All right, both feet are fish and 25 plus feet of water. I mean, pretty little spot. Feeding up for winter. They're definitely eating today. So I'm liking that. Every single time I'm marking one on my graph, which I'd like to show you guys. So you see that line right there. That right there is a fish that's sitting on the bottom and I'm just dropping right on his head. I'm just almost dead sticking it. I'll jig it a little bit, just get that tail moving. Yeah, pretty little guy. Go right back over that same spot because I saw that mark I just showed you guys. See if I can catch him. It's actually kind of fun video game fishing when they're biting. There we go. First jig fish. I'd almost dead stick it, guys. Come here. Just thinking about leaving. Oh man, he choked it. Biggest of the day, big bait gets the big bite. I mean, look at that. There we go. Pretty fish. Big old spot. It's not the fattest. He's eating. But yeah, he's pretty long. Sweet. Love jig fish. Again, I think that was 30 feet. Same spot where I've been getting all my fish is right here. It's crazy. Two hours later. Alrighty guys, give you a little uh, mid-morning update. It's about 11.30. All three of those fish I caught were probably in the first like 45 minutes of fishing. So I'm probably actually gonna head back to that spot. It was a perfect little uh, channel ledge there. Um, I fished one more long bank. I was expecting fish to be, it was a real steep drop off. I mean, it was 70 feet deep, maybe 20 feet away from the bank. And I just kind of dragged a jig down that. Uh, but no bites. So I'm gonna head back to that first spot. Hopefully I'll get lucky, bust out that shimmer shad again, and um, hopefully I get a couple more bites before I gotta get out of here. All right, let's get at it. Again, video game fishing, guys. God, it's fun. They are just eating the shimmer shad. Could be my favorite new drop shot bait. Just destroying this little thing. I marked three fish right there. They're just a little dink. 30 feet deep, I swear.
I mean, when you find where they're sitting at and what depth, you can just pick them off all day. All right, little guy, thank you for biting. What I'm doing is actually I'm running the bank about, you know, 30 feet deep and just kind of tossing this underspin swim jig head around with a 4.8 Kitek on the back. And then um, if I run over fish on my graph and I see that there's fish, I just pick up the drop shot, drop it right in front of their face and they're following it down. Those ones were actually kind of suspended. They were probably five feet off the ground. So let me try to make a quick run back over those guys. Should have hit a mark on my graph. Let's see if I can pick up another one. right on them video game fishing i could barely even tell there was just a tiny oh, yeah that's what oh he came off <laughs> sorry he was tiny there was just a tiny little line separation on from the bottom to this little tiny blue line so i was guessing that was a fish let's see let's drop back down looks like there may be another one sitting right there come on eat it it's playing with it I think they're just small little guys down there. Honestly, I think he might have just stole my my Simmerche head. You know, honestly, this is the best way to winter fish. Just video game fish it. I mean, I'll drag a jig all day and stuff, but when you find fish on your graph and you're able to just drop on their head, it's kind of hard to beat that. Finally, on the hula grub. Feels small. Yeah, it feels really small. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Alright, five fish in the boat. Lost that one on the boat flip yeah, right in the top of the mouth nice you know just the texas rig hula grub and the uh natural shad color half ounce weight little guy now still a nice little spot probably only fish for another like maybe half hour we'll see just probably fish this spot out and Head home from there. All right, but that was only like the third cast with this hula grub, Texas rig style. So that's a, uh, that's cool. Maybe I'll get a couple more before I head out. Oh, 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 oh. I just had one slam it next cast on the drop. That tripped me out. I was like, I thought it was bottom, but then I felt the tug. I really don't fish a Texas rig enough. I mean, it's probably the number one fish producer, but it's a good alternative than drop shotting when it's a tough day. I think that there's fish right below me. Let's test this theory out. Should look like it. There we go. Oh, he hit it. Came back for it. Dude, I know there's a school of them down there. I 
And I was just about to pack it in. Then all of a sudden I saw some spaghetti on this graph. Ooh, look at that, it just fell right out. Thank you, last guy. back I really should call it guys but we'll go over that last school real fast again just to look to really I mean it's not a bad day for winter fishing not at all can't get mad at catching fish may not be size but at least I didn't get skunked that's all I gotta tell myself <laughs> I was literally putting my rod away. Oh man, this is just too fun. Video game fishing, man. It's <laughs> putting the rod away and I see one more fish just sitting on the graph. Had to go for it. Oh man, my wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> I've been supposed to be home a while ago, I'm pretty sure. Oh dude. But the fish are biting. Look at that. Another little guy. Man. So fun. <laughs> okay. I gotta call it. Gotta go home. What a fun day though. Seriously can't be mad at a day like this. Shows you every once in a while winter fishing comes in. Oh my gosh, another one. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Michelle, I'm sorry, this is what's taking so long. Let's see if I can get them. Alright, officially done. Locking it up. I gotta stop looking at the graph. Alrighty guys, well that is a wrap. Um, today was actually a lot of fun. I had a blast. I mean, video game fishing is, is a fun time. I mean, it's definitely, I think, the best way, well, the best producing way for me for winter fishing. All my hits, it's not like they smacked it today. It was more just a subtle grab it and it got heavy. But yeah, it was a blast. It just goes to show you that not all winter days are bad fishing days, so Really, if you just keep getting out there and keep trying, you're gonna you're gonna catch fish eventually. All right, guys. Well, today I got it on the drop shot Gary Yamamoto Shad Worm, and I also got it on the Bass Union Jig and the Gary Yamamoto Hula Grub Texas Rig style. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, hit that like button. If you want to see some more content, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.